Hey everybody, welcome to the Inspire Shop weekly video. I am Tiffany from the Inspire Shop. Uh, today for uh, this little video, I thought that we would talk about discipline. It is something that is not easy for me and um, something that God has really taught me about. I've been going through reading like a proverb of a day uh, throughout this year and so something that I've been praying about, praying for wisdom. And especially as I've been doing that, the Lord has uh, just really opened my eyes about praying for my children to have wisdom. As we have gone through seasons where discipline has been hard and uh, just having that endurance to continue to discipline well, um, discipline everybody in the way that they need to be and uh, doing that with love and uh, with uh, endurance, being able to continue uh, to do it well. And so as I've been reading through Proverbs, uh, the Lord just really stuck out to me how uh, a prudent son, it says in Proverbs 10, 1, um, a wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother. And in 13, 1, it says a wise son hears his father instructions, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. And so I've, I've been reading these over the course of um, the year uh, that was just really highlighted how you know, learning from our mistakes. And so I have been turning that into my prayer for my kiddos that they would learn from their actions and be able to uh, not make those same mistakes over and over and over. Although I know we all do that in our lives. We all have things that we keep returning to, but I uh, just pray that they will have the wisdom to not do that. I think is just a game changer in uh, their lives. And then in, in parenting as well, praying for perseverance. Uh, I think discipline for me at first was so hard just because you have to continually, continually, <laughs> continually do the same things over and over and over um, with different behaviors and different things um, that, going, that are going on in their lives. And so that can be a really hard thing to do. Um, and just that reminder how God disciplines those he loves. I think oftentimes when I discipline, then I feel like I'm awful because I hate disciplining. And, you know, for me, I'm like, I won't do it again. Like, let's not do that. Um, and so as my kiddos are very strong-willed and just awesome, and they are going to be, I know, game changers one day. <laughs> um, but uh, just praying for them to have that wisdom to stop that action that they're doing and be able to work through it. Uh, as they are going through different challenges. And so a, lot, a few months ago, I started reading Proverbs with my daughter as I'd been praying this prayer that they would have wisdom. Uh, then I just turned that to start praying um, with her about it and uh, really be able to have her dive into the word and read what it says about wisdom and how important wisdom is. Because something we kind of talked about, uh, but having her read it, I think, has really changed um, as I've said, like, let's pray for wisdom. Let's, we don't, you know, money doesn't matter. It's not a big thing. But if you have wisdom, um, then that is like the treasure. That's what it talks about throughout Proverbs, how important it is to have wisdom. I mean, you can have all the money in the world and then don't have the wisdom to know even how to use it. And then it's gone in a flash, right? Just how most lottery winners and anyone like that has experienced. Um, you have to have wisdom in order to do well in any sort of situation. And so... Uh, this week, uh, my prayer and encouragement is just to pray for wisdom, whatever that looks like in your circumstances. Dive into Proverbs. Uh, start today. You could pick out, you know, today is the 12th, and so you can read, you know, Proverbs 12. They don't take that long, um, but there's so much insight to be gained in there and so much to be learned and to be uh, shared and lived out. Um, so just pray that you guys will have wisdom this week and whatever you're walking through, whatever your season looks like and be able to use that uh, to share love and uh, enjoy your week. Have a good one. Bye.